morning everyone I hope that you're all well hi hello how are you all um, this is a day later than it should be I know I was meant to post a video yesterday but you've got it today instead so better than no video um, today is Friday the 13th of May Urgh. gonna keep a low profile today because Friday the 13th not the luckiest of days is it uh, it's currently quarter past eight in the morning which is why the lighting is weird because you know, not the most ideal conditions. Um, but I have oldish clothes on. I mean, this t-shirt's pretty old now, let's be honest. And uh, I'm going to be dyeing up the Knit Carole Yarn Club colorway today because I really need to do it because I've left it too long. But I uh, am just taking a moment in the morning to sit and drink a cup of tea, which is uh, something I do often. I try to sit and chill out, drink a cup of tea, and maybe put a few rows, stitches, or whatever on a project that I'm working on. Uh, one, it gives me time to wake up and enjoy a cup of tea. Two, it forces me to take time to uh, crochet or knit something. And three, means that I actually make progress on my whips. Um, and it's just quite a nice way to start the morning, really. So today I'm going to be working on the flat iron shawl. If you saw my short that I posted on YouTube, I mean I also posted it as a reel, um, you would have seen that I had to frog back a few rows, but I've crocheted it all back now and we are back on track to where we were. After a few moments of going back to my crochet and realising my stitches have been ripped out from me lifting it out of the project bag. I have started to use a progress keeper to clip through the final stitch that I've done so it doesn't come undone. And then, yeah, I can just clip it on my work or just keep it where it is so I can see how much I've got done today. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to be sat for too long because uh, someone, Mario's got a uh, customer who is outside of his delivery zone who wants to come and collect the order. So I have to be in this afternoon because they're coming this afternoon. So I have to be in the house. So I'm just gonna sit and drink my tea, let my phone charge a little bit, chill out a bit, and then go and dye up May's Knit Carol Yarn Club colorway, which I'm not going to be able to show you because it is a surprise. Um, but yeah, very excited about this one. Inspired by Chetney Pocopy. I'm not going to talk too much about him in case you're very behind on Critical Role. I'm also quite behind on Critical Role, truth be told. I'm like two episodes behind, I need to get back to it. Um, but yes, I uh, maybe I'll watch that this afternoon whilst I bead weave, because that is likely what I'll be doing. Anyway, I am going to keep on crocheting and drink my tea and catching up on whatever's been happening on YouTube while I slept. And then I will go out and dye yarn. I have a big box of yarn that I need to take down to the dye shed. But I don't know if I want to do that right now. You've got voiceover Hannah here. Um, just because I thought it would be a fun way to walk you through everything that I'm doing. So I'm just starting out by prepping the yarn. I personally use reusable zip ties uh, to fasten around my yarn. It helps to not only keep the skeins all separate, but it helps when you're picking the yarn out of the trays or out of the pan or whatever, and stops them getting all tangled and your yarn just becoming a tangled mess because no one likes that. So these reusable zip ties I find very good um, because they're not single use. You can use them again and again. They do eventually snap but you get a lot of use. Um, I've still got some from the first batch I ever bought, so yeah. It's just a time consuming process, but definitely worth it because it will save you a headache later on. And then this is the tub that I soak my yarn in. Um, I, When I first dyed in the dye shed, I made the mistake of filling it to the top and then filling it with water and then I couldn't move it. So, um, don't do that. I know some people soak their yarn overnight, some people do whatever, some people don't soak their yarn, you know, everyone has their own methods and techniques, but I tend to have the yarn soaking whilst I either prep everything else, I spilt water that I had cleaned it out so I don't fall over, um, yeah, while I'm either prepping everything else or while other yarn is dying, so it gets a good chunk of time in the water beforehand, and this just means that it should saturate easily. 
and then picking out dyes is always the fun bit. I personally use acid dyes, most yarn dyes I believe do. You can use um, food colouring and stuff like that, but I've always used acid dyes. This is a uh, dye that sets while using acid, like citric acid or vinegar. I prefer citric acid, it's a personal preference. I use a lot of colour craft dyes because they're local to the UK, but they don't have all colours, so I've also branched out and started using some Jacquard and some uh, Dharma dyes as well. And I just get out all of the colours that I think I want to use. Um, you can see me looking at the picture for reference, and then I'll decide which ones I actually do use um, whilst I'm dying. And I didn't use all of those. So I dye using induction hobs. These are double induction hobs, uh, so they're meant intended for two pounds. You can see one in the background that's just a single induction hob. I've got two of those as well. I tend to use those for my um, saucepans, and yeah, one of my regrets is not having more plugs in the, my dye shed. That was an error on my part, but you know, we make it work. And then I dye in gastronorm pans um, because I find them very good and I can dye four skeins at once in them. Sometimes I put water in before I put the yarn in, sometimes I don't, it entirely depends on the colourway, what kind of effect I want to go for, what kind of thing I'm doing, it, it varies. Sometimes I dye the yarn a solid colour before it goes in the tray, you know, it's, it's different, but you know, we're putting it in an empty tray today. Um, I will say if you're doing this, be careful and keep an eye on it and make sure there is water underneath your yarn. Uh, because otherwise your yarn can burn. I haven't ever quite had my yarn burn, but I do have a couple of scorch marks on my pans, and it's from not enough water under the yarn. And there we go, sprinkling with citric acid. Now this is at the end of a dye day when I have no uh, skeins left to dye. I try to reuse as much water as possible, so that's me reusing the water. I have dyed up all of the yarn. I've got the last lot cooling in its tray, don't know what that piece of hair is doing, it's having a party for one. Um, but it's now 10 past 12 so I'm going to remain in the house till Mario gets home and then once he's home or once the uh, person comes and collects their order then I will um, go out and rinse that because it should be cooled but it wasn't quite, it just finished cooking and I've cleared up everything else. So I think I'm going to make myself a spot of lunch and I'm going to make a plan for what I'm going to dye tomorrow and I'm going to take my nail varnish off because I've been picking it off. As soon as one chipped, which was the middle one on this finger, as soon as one chipped I knew that I would start picking it off. So I had this nail varnish on, I painted my nails Wednesday last week. So it had nine days it was on my nails with barely any chipping. That's a pretty good run, usually I can't manage that many days. Um, but then as soon as I start dyeing yarn, it comes off, so, yeah, um, i got dye on me. It's an exciting time in the corner of craft today, but I'm going to try and get as much of this dye off me as I can. I'm going to get, take my nail varnish off, uh, and then I'll have some lunch, and then I'll do some bead weaving. And I'll paint my nails this evening, because um, I don't need to paint my nails in the middle of the day, really, do I? As fine as it would be. Bead weaving is a bit more important because the wool monty is coming up. So tomorrow I'm going to be dyeing yarn for the wool monty, which means in Monday's vlog will be a yarn dyeing vlog, which I'm very excited about because I've not done one of those in a very long time, as those of you in the Biscuit Brew crew who support me on Patreon will know. Because yeah, I've not dyed yarn in a month. Felt a bit weird. I felt very rusty, but I'm glad I did it. It was good. Anyway, I'm lunch hungry.
sweet. So, baked goods have been collected. Now I can stop worrying about it because it's happened. Uh, so, Mario should be coming home, I thought soon, but he's just sent me a picture of a pie he's made, so who knows. Um, and then, yes, I need to go rinse that yarn and then I'll paint my nails. I've like, I've spent time filing them down and everything, I've done all that bit. Um, because yeah, otherwise I knew I'd just start biting them because they were too long and unpainted. And so yeah, I've just taken some time to care for them. I need to get the nail oil back out because around my nail is a is a mess. It's a mess. Anyway, uh, but currently bead weaving flower crown sloths, sloths, whatever you call them. I always thought that they were sloths growing up. I was told it was pronounced sloth. And then when they got popular, everyone was calling it a sloth. So now I don't know. How many of these do I need to make? Do do do, five. Sweet, because I've still got some left over from the um, East Anglia Yarn Festival. Which is good. Very good. So I'm getting my little little pop. It's growing, it's growing. Because, um, yeah, there's some that I don't need to make any more of. But, like, flower crown foxes, mushrooms. I need to do a colour of a butterfly. And... I've got one blank space and I don't know what to fill it with. Maybe I'll have a think about it. Because I had these little red pandas. Which are very cute. They're already in a spot. It's fine. I'll find something to put it put there. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to keep bead weaving these little flower, flower crown sloth sloth things. Um, while the sun shines beautifully. But I should go rinse the rest of that yarn and hang it out to dry. But I'm sat down now, and I'm nice and comfy now, and I can't be mopped. Standard afternoon slump, am I right? Hence the tea. Hence the tea. Doesn't help that whilst I was dyeing yarn, I was listening to music, and I was dancing very enthusiastically. Um, so I potentially wore myself out a bit. Could do some socks. I've just found a sock stitch marker. Why is this here? Do you have a broken bead? Oh, you've got a broken bead. So I could do some socks and just do like five different colours, two of each. And then sock progress keepers. We'll see. I don't know how well they would sell. Anyway, I'm rambling about nothing. So I'm going to continue folks so um just brought the yarn in from outside because it's now seven o'clock uh, but it's actually quite a nice day still so i'm gonna go for a walk um for like an hour hour and a half or so um and then i'll come back and edit this maybe or yeah we'll see we'll see uh, but we've just had dinner and watched the jubilee baking competition because her majesty um, is celebrating 70 years since of being on the throne this year very exciting and um, so I watched that competition not really a competition it's like a documentary where they try to find the best dessert spoilers for the winner happening now a trifle one a trifle Ugh. as soon as they came up and were going through all of the things I said I really hope the trifle doesn't win because it's such a dated dessert, I feel, but the trifle one. And I understand why the trifle one. It makes a lot of sense because it's quite accessible for people to make. Um, people can go and buy all the ingredients if they don't want to, like, bake a Swiss roll. They can buy a Swiss roll and blah, blah, blah. But a trifle. Eh, a bit uninspiring. Anyway, let's go for a walk, shall we?
so that was a really good walk i'm glad i went and did that i was out for about an hour and 20 minutes i'm a bit sweaty now my makeup's all gonna start coming off if it hasn't already and uh, i came in and put my jammies on because i was just a bit warm these are not cooler i just need to acclimatize now from stopping walking saw a total of four cats some of them i couldn't film because they were in the windows of people's houses and it felt a bit weird filming someone's house. Five cats, I saw five cats. Um, yeah, I would feel a bit weird filming someone's house. At least I'd think it was weird if someone were to walk past filming my window. So they didn't film all the cats. But um, I'm going to round that off here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed it. Sorry it's on a Saturday instead of a Friday, but at least you got a video nonetheless. Um, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please feel free to subscribe. That would be lovely. I try and post a video on this channel every week, but if you like me enough to want a bonus video, feel free to join my Patreon. Link can be found in the description box below, along with all the other information that I think you might need, like um, my social media. All my social media is down there. So if you want to check me out on other social media sites, please feel free. And I should add my TikTok down there. I don't think it's in the list. Anyway, um, thank you so, so much for watching and spending the day with me. It's been delightful and surprisingly productive. Um, and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.